this meeting we will discuss a very interesting topic for all of us fans of carbon, not only. We will talk about energy accumulators, or those we commonly call the batteries. Immediately come to mind a myriad of uses in which the batteries will be the absolute protagonists in our fishing sessions. We will use them to power our ever higher performance electric motors, fish finders, GPS, and to recharge our smartphones, our tablets, camcorders and cameras. In this video you'll discover an absolutely excellent product proposed by Imperial Fishing, let's see together what it is. As you may have understand out from the package I will talk about Rebel Cell, it'll spare you the unboxing of the product. The surprise of this show, you know very well how much I love unwrap new products but in this case, understanding your curiosity will make the enormous sacrifice to avoid it. Maybe later it'll do the unboxing of the charger dedicated to these batteries, you know that it's stronger than me, so at least one episode you have to grant it to me. But we do not waste time and talk about Rebel Cell, distributed by Imperial Fishing and built by a very famous Dutch company specialized in lithium ion battery. Finally, even in the world of fishing as well as in many other areas triumphal burst batteries with lithium technology, with all the benefits that this entails and then together we will see better what they are, to begin with the batteries that you see here are near to Rebel Cell of AGM and Gel, and the first thing you notice are definitely the small size of Rebel Cell. This factor is of primary importance, because we know how much influence the size and especially the weight of these products, especially penalizing our back, when we need to take with us batteries of 100, 120 or 150 amperes, AGM or gel that they are fully aware of what we're up in terms of fatigue, during transport of these real heavyweight. I show you some examples. This is a gel battery of 75 ampere for the accuracy, which weighs about 22 kilograms. This is an AGM battery of 38 ampere that weighs approximately 10 kilograms. This is the Rebel set of 50 ampere and it weighs only 5 kilograms. Yes you read right 50 ampere and well you can argue about whether it is normal that less and is smaller battery of 50 ampere weights of 175. No, it is not normal at all but it becomes so from the time the technology is used precisely realize lithium for the batteries is used. This not only allows to considerably reduce both the weights that the dimensions but also to double the capacity of the battery power. In fact this is the Rebel Cell version with 50 ampere of power declared but it is equivalent to a 105 ampere battery of type AGM or gel, then a battery that will weigh on average 30 kilograms. So, 30 kilograms compared with 5 kilograms of Rebel Cell that we will raise quietly with a single finger. Here I am alone at last with my Rebel Cell, in this test I am showing you the version of 12 volts and 50 ampere. But there are other versions available. We have a 25 ampere model, one of 11 ampere, and the latest new entry by 100 ampere. To specify that, as in the 50 ampere version, 25 ampere will correspond to a 55 ampere AGM or gel, the 11 ampere to 20 ampere AGM or gel, and 100 ampere at a monstrous 200 ampere AGM or gel. The last difference of a 200 ampere battery that has a weight of 50 kilograms would have a negligible weight, or as soon as 10 kilograms. Fantastic! 10 kilograms for a battery with 200 ampere of power. But this is crazy and fantastic. The 50 ampere version is available in both 12 volt and 24 volt, and these, as well as the 100 ampere model, are equipped with control panel. Then later we will see in detail what it is. The other versions are not different in terms of weight. In fact, the 25 ampere version weighs just 3 kilograms, while the 11 ampere weighs only 1.5 kilograms. Let's see together some technical measures applied to these special batteries. Apart from the compactness and lightness, we see other aspects that will make us prefer a lithium battery to a classic lead. Let's start with the fact that these batteries do not suffer from the process of self-discharge for which we could leave unused for long periods of time without damage them. 
Already this is not a trivial matter, because especially for those in winter greatly reduces the fishing activity. Will not risk being in spring with an expensive battery unusable. So also going to use our battery after months of inactivity we will find it in better shape than when we left. But we go further, a lithium battery can maintain the constant amperage for all the duration of the charge. What does this mean? It means that we will not have annoying loss of power after a certain time of use as it normally happens with conventional batteries, but we will always have a constant yield of the highest levels, so we will have guaranteed many hours of use at maximum performance. Another peculiarity of these batteries is the fact that also downloaded to zero we want to damage them, which however would be very deleterious for normal lead batteries and that, if repeated over time these would lead to certain death. With Rebel Cell this does not happen. We can use them as many times as we want to zero without reducing its service life or damage them irreparably. Yet another very important feature of these batteries is that they can be used safely in all weather conditions, a factor that could be very variable in our sessions. Well, these batteries are not afraid of anything so we can safely use them in winter with temperatures of minus 20 degrees as well as in high summer with temperatures of 40 degrees in the shade. Assured that this is not going to affect the performance. This speech however, you know very well that is not true for normal batteries and instead mainly affected by low temperatures, inevitably going to penalize performances. In addition, the lithium ion batteries for its own internal structure won't overheat during use. What does this mean? It'll explain it. Normally using the electric motor is obvious that we are going to vary the speed of use. This will ensure that a classic battery will overheat internally with inevitable power losses. All this on lithium batteries does not happen to the benefit of the electric motor and of battery life. We carried out in this and other fishing sessions some endurance test on 12 volts and 50 ampere rebel cell using it for a mink out of 55 pounds installed on a iBoat 3.20 meters. Using it intensively for about 4 days to transship the equipment, lowering the pipes, Plum unfortunately recovered some fish. We managed to consume 75% of the total of this technological dual charge. I would say a very good result. After having heard much, you say, it's finally time to see in detail the famous control panel. It is this beautiful panel placed on top of Rebel Cell from 50 and 100 ampere. To begin with we will find the two classic connection points, with both M6 bolts and both copper bushes where to connect the battery terminals for classic cars. Then we find a completely waterproof switch, as well as all over the control panel, which will enable us to know the battery charge level displayed on an LCD display, and to activate the two 5 volt USB jacks 1 and 2.1 amperes. We use secure USB also taken by a tight cover to connect directly and recharge our smartphones, tablets or whatever is fed to 5 volt. Here we are, we finally arrived at my favorite moment, the unboxing of a product. Joking aside, I show you the battery charger dedicated to these jewels, because obviously need utilities aren't specific for lithium batteries as the models that we normally use for lead acid batteries cannot be used. This is also a product of the highest technological level and perfectly realized. Even then I will also speak you other interesting optional accessories for these about batteries, and very interesting. This is the dedicated charging batteries, provided with two classic and robust tweezers to be connected to the battery, cable for connection to the mains. On one side we find the LEDs will indicate the level of battery charge, and there is the cooling of the battery charger itself. Wanting is not necessary to immediately disconnect the battery once the charge finished of rebel cell since the same will stop automatically. Particularly to underline is that in just one hour charge will have 50% charge available, while to recharge the battery completely we need 4 hours. Breaking some information about the options available for rebel cell. It provides a convenient rapid industrial attachment to connect quickly and safely the battery to the electric motor. It's possible to buy a voltage regulator for those who want to use the Rebel Cell to feed the now famous Echo Sounders Raymarine Dragonfly. 
These echo sounders have a particular working range in terms of voltage that does not allow its direct connection to rebel cell, so as not to risk damage to the voltage regulator is the first thing. With a few euro this problem will be solved and so for all, but we will have a lot of power, minimum weight and certainly our back will be the first to thank.